good morning to everybody welcome to the mass transfer course today will be the lecture 3 in lecture 2 we tried to understand two fundamental questions the first question was what is the mass transfer operation or separation process and here we tried to understand that mass transfer is a process by which we can separate the molecules from their mixture and for that one we have taken number of examples now second question was why should I study the course as a chemical engineer and here we have taken number of examples from different sectors which are the essential sectors in our society these are energy, agriculture, healthcare, daily life communities and environmental issues and from these examples we tried to understand that how separation process is important today we will try to understand another question that is the how will you separate the molecules through mass transfer Now, if you see the separation processes, so separation of a mixture into signal component in chemical process industry are mainly two types. So separation processes are two types. One is mechanical separation. What are the mechanical separations? The centrifugation, filtration, cyclone separation, settling. Already you have studied this type of separation in mechanical separation. In general, here one phase will be in solid, one, phase, one component will be as a solid, another component will be as a liquid, and then by centrifugation you can separate the molecules okay or one will be in gas and another will be in solid then it is possible but if you take the example of mixture of carbon dioxide hydrogen and nitrogen all are gases this type of separation is not possible through this mechanical separation now the separate second thing is separation through mass transfer of process separation of carbon dioxide from the mixture of carbon dioxide hydrogen and nitrogen is not possible by mechanical separation and this separation is possible by mass transfer okay. that we have seen so separation processes are two types one is mechanical separation okay and the separation through the mass transfer. Now question will be <coughs> what are the different types of mass transfer? Already we told that there are two types. One is molecular diffusion and another is convective mass transfer. Molecular diffusion this is purely diffusional mass transfer that occurs in absence of any microscopic motion in the medium that is when medium is stagnant okay we have taken the example already we have taken the example of spreading of perfume molecules in a classroom when 
windows and doors are closed no and is running then if you keep one one perfume bottle in open condition then that perfume molecules will diffuse through the stagnant layer and it would spread and this is the molecular diffusion so in molecular diffusion that is that will occur in a stagnant media generally this is a slow process and this is the inherent property of the molecules particular type of molecules second thing is convective mass transfer mass transfer occurs in a fluid medium which is in motion this is convective mass transfer and mass transfer occurs faster compared to the molecular diffusion in general convective mass transfer is much faster than the molecular diffusion and al already we have taken this examples of perfume bottle and when if you keep the perfume bottle at the corner in open condition and if you run the fans that's mean your medium is in moving condition and then this diffusion will take place very fast okay now we can take another example very simple example if you take one glass of water okay and if you put one teaspoon of sugar into this water and if you serve carefully then we will see the sugar molecule will come will diffuse to the water water into the water slowly and there will be interface between that solid sugar molecule and water because in this case water is stagnant so but sugar molecule is diffusing from sugar interface to the water molecule, water medium but then if you start this water okay you will see within one minute the all sugar molecule will diffuse okay. so first when you put the sugar module in a stagnant medium without any stirring you will see to dissolve the sugar molecules it will take much longer time it will take around half an hour or like this but that is the molecular diffusion now when you are stirring the water then the medium is moved in motion then convective mass transfer is happening okay and this mass transfer is very much similar to your heat transfer and momentum transfer fluid will flow from high pressure to low pressure region okay high pressure region to low pressure region fluid will flow temperature in heat will flow from high temperature to low temperature and this is the driving force so in fluid that is pressure difference in case of heat it is temperature difference and heat will flow from high temperature to low temperature and in case of mass transfer that is the concentration difference mass will flow from high concentration to low concentration when the medium is stagnant the diffusion will be molecular diffusion and when medium will be in motion that is convective mass transfer okay <coughs> now the question will come that is okay we have two types of mass transfer okay 
molecular and convective mass transfer. Now, these are the fundamental property of the molecules in mass transfer process. Now, we have to use these phenomena, two phenomena, in such a way so that we can separate the molecule. Okay. Now, how will we separate this molecule with these two phenomena? Let's take one in a, on another example. Let's take you are a 50 student in this classroom. I request you please come to the playground because there is a one concern is going on. Okay. And then what will happen? There will be some very good student. Okay. Okay, sir. Told to come to the ground. So you will you will move. But different, but all are good students, but different have a different speed of walking. So when you are going from classroom to you know football ground, there who will walk fast, he will go, he or she will go fast, who will walk slow, he or she will go. He will take time. That means that there is separation is going on. In a, when you are a classroom, you are mixed. Even if you are in a mixing condition. But when I tell you go there because of your inherent property, okay. So we, some people will go fast, some people will go slow, okay. What will is, and some people what will okay. First let's go the hostel, then I will come later. There are some people have a mentality. Some people will not go even. Okay. So you will see where in from the mixture, when I am telling you move from here to there, because of your different speed and different mentality of speed, actually your walking speed or running speed, you are separating from each other. When there is, a, you need a movement, you have to go from here to there, then our separation is automatically taking place. Okay? But here I am not forcing you, will you please come to football? No force is there. Okay? So this is a molecular diffusion. Now if I tell, okay, who will come first? I will give the prize for first second. That I am applying force to you. Then what will you? People will run fast. And we will get the separation also. If you see, if you take the, you know, 100 meter run, okay, that, that event, force events, you see always there is a first, second, third. Always first, second, third, fourth and last. That means that is separation is going on. So, when the molecule will move from one place to another, because of this inherent property of the molecule, they will separate from each other. And we, in separation process, we will use this phenomena. This is the phenomena, it is a, the property of this mo these molecules. Different type of molecules have different speed. And when uh, we will allow to go from one place to another place, they will be separated automatically. And that phenomena we will use smartly to separate the molecule. Because our aim is we want the mixture is ethanol and water. Okay. I want to separate them. Okay. So this is the phenomena, but there will be the mass transfer will be either molecular or convective. Generally in chemical industry, the mass transfer will be con convective because molecular diffusion is very slow process. It will take long time, but we have to do it fast. Economic, if you want to do it economically, we have to do it fast. Generally convective mass transfer takes place. Okay. 
okay so you understand now how we are separating the molecules because when we allow them to move from one place to another place because of their inherent property they will be separated automatically and we will use mostly this their inherent properties and separate okay through mass transfer <coughs> now separation process through mass transfer when will do then okay i will separate the them smartly i used the word smartly we use the we separate them smartly with their inherent properties that is through i through diffusion either from mass molecular diffusion or convective diffusion now question will be how will we develop the strategies to separate the molecules through by through mass transfer how will we develop the strategies how smart we can be because if we can separate them easily then we are smart then you have to develop some strategy how would you do this now what are the different types of separation processes separation process it may not be one it may be multiple already when i gave mass transfer one and mass transfer two we have seen there is there are so many types are there then what are the different separation processes are there then for each separation process okay how will you design this separation equipment now then question will be there are different separation processes are there but which separation process will be the best one and then okay i i choose there are different separation process and i choose this is the best one i for that one i design the separation then what will be its optimum operating condition so that i can separate easily okay so my aim is i want to separate the molecules because we need the as a market demand we need the different products because you have seen petroleum crude so we are producing lpg naphtha kerosene diesel lube oils so as per market demand we have to do this and if we can do this easily or economical okay if we can make the separation with very small equipment then everybody will accept it but if you use big equipment the people will not that will not be economic and the people that that fundamental questions are coming they yeah, how will we separate the molecules through master so that that how will you develop the strategies first thing how will you develop the strategies to separate the molecules through masters and what are the different types of strategies or separation processes now already i have given you a number of examples okay now if you see in all the examples there are two phases if you take the separation of h2s carbon dioxide from natural gas okay that is a mixture of h2s carbon dioxide and methane that is the gas mixture we are is using ethanol amine okay that is a liquid and we are mixing them gas and liquid then carbon dioxide and h2 has a property to stay in the liquid phase from to move from gas phase to liquid phase. but at the same time methane will not be absorbed in ethanol so okay so we are that chemical okay you have a problem you have a problem is a mixture of carbon dioxide h2s methane 
you need to separate but what chemical i am using that liquid phase ethanol i am that is in my hand i can suggest okay so so here if you see the gas and liquid the two phases are in direct contact and the carbon dioxide and h2s is moving from gas phase to liquid without affecting the other one that is methane methane does not have a, any affinity from gas phase to liquid phase okay if you take any two example let's say you we have taken the uh, extraction of gold so gold ore that is solid okay and what we are using that is solid we are trying sodium cyanide that is in liquid phase so solid and liquid phase two phases are in contact direct contact then gold is moving from solid phase to liquid phase but other some are not Okay. So if you see whatever the examples I have taken, everything if you take the drying of urea, that is solid to gas. So water vapor is moving from solid urea to gas. Okay. So you see, because you have to separate this thing, but third what component I will use? Okay, that is in my hand, and generally it is found instead of. In a single phase, two phases are very effective. If if you bring the two phases direct contact, but that that phase it that are also selective, very selective, because ethanol, I mean, ethyl, I mean, only if you want to remove, you know, H2S carbon dioxide from mixture of H2S carbon dioxide and methane, you have to use ethanol. I mean, if you use water, it won't be happen. Okay, but that phase also very selective with chemical that is very selective. But it has been seen that if you bring two phases in a contact, then which thing I want to separate that will move from one phase to another phase, and remaining thing will not come. It can be reversals. It may happen that there is a mixture of methane. Carbon dioxide and H2S. I can use you on chemical, which will methane will be absorbed. They will not absorb the H2S and carbon dioxide. Then after then I can again I remove it. That is also possible. So, but that is but keep it in mind. In mass transfer operation, whatever examples I have taken, if you see, always there is a two phases. One phase will be in your problem. In case of gold, or that is solid, in case of CN natural gas coming from that is gas, but other phase in my choice, and always if you see whatever example we have taken, always two phases. That is the very important thing. Okay, now, <coughs> so that's the thing. The separation of through master jar two phases are in direct contact. You see that gold and separation of uh, or extraction of gold that is solid and liquid separation of ethanol water okay that is liquid vapor and our lungs are separating oxygen from air and transforming into the blood so this is oxygen is transferring from gas phase to liquid phase okay this, and not only whatever example i have taken always you will see two phases are in direct contact now Phases are generally three, but you know you will you can tell okay, gas, liquid, solid, other than this plasma. But you no, know, it is not applicable much here. But generally there are three phases are there: gas, liquid, solid. Then how what are different types of mass transfer takes place? Okay. Now if you see gas to liquid okay so gas to liquid that is absorption okay and 
liquid to gas it is stripping okay later i am giving more a sample on this okay and generally we will study these two things absorption and stripping okay in a single chapter so gas to liquid then there is a liquid to gas okay second is liquid gas to liquid second is liquid to gas another thing is there that is distillation okay now you will tell liquid to gas stripping and here also liquid to gas this is distillation why why there is difference see generally absorption takes place at low temperature generally absorption of carbon dioxide from uh, mixture of carbon dioxide hydrogen nitrogen it takes place at 30 degrees centigrade okay then after and there also we use the ethanol amine for urea ammonia synthesis we have taken the example already now second in second that is absorption of carbon dioxide from the mixture of carbon dioxide nitrogen hydrogen then hydrogen and nitrogen goes off we make the ammonia then what carbon dioxide absorbed by ethanol amine then if you heat it at 60 degree centigrade then carbon dioxide will goes off and you will get the pure ethanol and then you can use this pure ethanol I mean it in recycling and people do like this that is the second thing is stripping so second stripping generally goes and at lower temperature than the boiling point but in distillation we we separate the molecules through vapor liquid equilibrium and for that one we need to apply heat okay and crude petroleum fraction of seven of crude petroleum is through distillation because that's why if you see crude petroleum is the dissolved there is a heater through this heating we bring the temperature of the petroleum crude to the boiling point of so the vapor liquid mixture will then we plus this okay so a distillation will happen through vapor liquid equilibrium after application of heat okay then gas liquid liquid gas okay then gas solid gas solid is adsorption okay we have taken the example so if you want to absorb water vapor then usually casual can be used okay desorption is just opposite okay so just whatever i we told absorption stripping similarly gas to solid is adsorption and solid to gas is desorption and also these two things are we study in a single chapter so there will be one chapter adsorption stripping there will be one chapter distillation there will be adsorption and desorption then drying drying is solid to gas that is also by application of heat but it is very control heat it is not the boiling you know high temperature okay then solid to liquid okay solid to leaching it is called leaching okay so we are extracting gold on gold ore using sodium cyanide okay that is the leaching process and crystal liquid to solid okay liquid to solid is crystallization so sugar what we are, sugar we are getting okay that is actually crystallization is going on from liquid media to solid okay so these are the and apart from this okay there is another thing is liquid liquid extraction see there is no gas gas extraction one gas another gas okay there won't be two phases one phase solid solid also the same but you can make two phases through two liquid okay let's take if you have a water and let's take benzene they are immiscible so two phases will happen water phase and benzene phase so one is aqueous phase another is organic so that is a liquid liquid extraction okay so if you see 
to a, for extraction of penicillin penicillin was in water phase then we added butyl acetate that is organic and these water and butyl acetate these are the immiscible to each other so if you mix them then if you allow to settle then water phase and organic phase they will be separate you can see this okay so this is the for the and then the penicillin will move from water phase to this organic phase so this is the liquid so there are three phases the possible combinations are nine and accordingly different mass separation processes there and all these names are very well known in industry if you say absor absorption if you see absorption a b and this is gas liquid absorption stripping distillation gas solid adsorption d absorption okay drying leaching crystallizes okay and humidity and cooling it is nothing but a gas liquid but why there is a separate chapter chapter for this why there is a separate chapter for this because you know water is very cheap and there is a number of uses and that's why we deal with the number of things are possible with the water that's why we kept one separate chapter for humidification that is nothing but a gas liquid or liquid gas okay so so how now you understand how uh, how we are develop, developing the strategies to separate the molecules through mass transfer okay because if you take two phases that which component i want to separate that component will selectively move from one phase to another phase but other will not move this is the strategy and for the different phases and now one phase in in your problem statement one phase will be given to it may be either gas or liquid or solid now other phase what you will take it is your friend let's take if you have a gas okay in your problem statement let's take that is the that's a mixture of carbon dioxide hydrogen and nitrogen okay that is urea formation or ammonia synthesis now you can use liquid then gas liquid absorption okay you can use solid then a gas solid adsorption okay these the possibilities are there or similarly for solid there are other things are there so according but you have to know all these processes because you don't know then you have to if you if you develop a single process that may not be economical that can be economical. so whatever the possible processes you should know everything and you should try all these things and then after doing all these things you have to take the decision okay among these four five processes this is my best so how many processes are there you, you should have a very thorough knowledge and then only you can take, take the decision okay the, what should be the best just like a buying car okay if there is only one company okay you don't, don't have any problem of okay, this company but if you want to take you know there is a maruti there is a tata there is a honda Hyundai. so that's mean you have to have a very good knowledge hey, this company is what that company is what what and from there you will take the decision okay i will take this car similarly you have to know the all the processes possible processes and you have to make the thorough calculation okay and then only you can take the decision that okay this is my process okay so very simple so generally in mass transfer we want to separate the molecules through mass transfer and for this one we generally we, we will bring two phases are in contact and accordingly 
they are name salary okay now let's take few examples i will go a little already i have told all these things just i will take uh, i'll go a little bit fast mode that adsorption and stripping that is that from natural gas h2s and carbon dioxide are removed using ethanol amine and uh, by absorption process removal then second i have taken this example removal of carbon dioxide from synthesis gas synthesis is a nitrogen hydrogen carbon is for urea formation okay taking this example during discussion of production of urea using ethanol I mean by absorption process so i remove the carbon dioxide through ethanol I mean okay and these two goes up then so carbon dioxide absorb in ethanol I mean now removal of carbon ethan carbon dioxide from ethanol I mean mixture is desorption so if you heat this mixture at 60 degree centigrade or 65 degree centigrade that carbon that is the desorption process in breathing process oxygen from air is absorbed into the blood many effluent treatment processes are based on the absorption process okay so this is the first one the absorption if you see the first one absorption and stripping then distillation distillation is liquid to gas okay through vapor liquid equilibrium by application of fractionation of petroleum crude separation of ethanol and water from its mixture, separation of benzene from BTX, BTX means benzene to lung gyli, okay. And then that is gas solid, that is adsorption and desorption, adsorption of water vapor in silica, removal of effluent using activated carbon, particularly in dye industry or carbon industry, use activated carbon to remove these heavy metals, okay. So these are the examples and drying of solid <coughs> that is a solid gas by application of it examples are drying food or fruits drying of soap milk okay polymer beads urea diammonium phosphate dap also it will come from the reactor it is slurry type of thing but you know marketed product is dry gun also then you need the drying process so drying process is very important in chemical industry then solid liquid that is leaching that is we call leaching with an extraction of gold using sodium cyanide or extraction of copper using sulfuric acid crystallization that is solid liquid solid that is production of sugar and leaching that is liquid liquid so recovery of penicillin from fermenter using butyl acetate sometimes other chemical is also used methyl, uh, methyl isobutyl ketone mi bk this is also used. okay this is i have taken this example then separation by tx from petroleum using furfura or a dimethyl so these are the some examples of different uh, separation processes okay so let let us stop today thank you for your attention have a nice time